Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well and staying safe. As you guys can see from the title of this video, I'm about to go into a 48 hour readathon. However, before we get into the readathon, I do want to introduce to today's sponsor. Book of the Month was so unbelievably kind enough to send me their Book of the Month picks for July. But before we get into what those books are, I'm going to explain to you guys a little bit about what Book of the Month is. Is. Book of the Month is a monthly book subscription box that sends you beautiful quality hardcover books that are both new and early releases. One of the best things about Book of the Month is that they send you a beautiful hard copy book that is one brand new and also a lot cheaper than you're gonna find in other stores around you. One of the things that I personally love about Book of the Month is that they pick books and authors who probably aren't very well known and that you may have not heard of because of all the popular books that are out there on Book Talk and BookTube. So not only is it good for the authors to get exposure for their books, but it's also good for us readers who are wanting to kind of get some new books that aren't very, you know, well known. The way this subscription works is members get to choose a book every month. So for example, this month there are five books that you can pick from. On the Book of the Month website, it also tells you the genre of the book and also a short description about what the book is about. And new members can actually get their first month, which means their first book, for only $9.99, which for a hardcover book, is very good priced. This is a risk-free subscription, which means that you can skip any month that you like and you won't be charged. One thing that I should point out is Book of the Month only ships within the US. Okay, so now that we've talked a little bit about what Book of the Month is, let me show you guys the Book of the Month picks for July. The one that's in this box is called 57 Days. And when I read the description of this, it sounded so interesting. And I definitely think I'm gonna be reading it this July as my July pick. Like I said, if you are interested in signing up with Book of the Month, you do get your first book for $9.99 if you use the code SUNNY5 on your first book. All right, now let's get into today's video. Okay, let's get this bad boy started. As you guys can see from the title of today's video, this is gonna be a 24-hour readathon slash weekend vlog. <laughs> All right, so starting off with current reads that I have like been reading for the past couple of months but haven't yet finished, I really really want to get through them. First one being the Lost Apothecary, which is actually the Discord's book of the month pick. Um, we're reading Lost Apothecary. I'm about 100 pages in and I have 200 pages left in it, so I really, really want to finish this one tonight and I know I will. I want to read the off campus series, all four of them, like I mean, and I feel like they are short enough that I'll be able to get through all of them in the 24-hour readathon, maybe three. Those are all the books that I wanna read this weekend. Of course, I'm gonna start out with The Lost Apothecary uh, just because I'm 33% of the way through according to Goodreads. Hold up, Hold, what? The, my husband's cousin and a mistress. What in the Alabama moment? What the? And all the girls around the world, they want to be here. And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever. She lives a double life. Puts on a show. What's under the subtle smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Hi, everybody. So little update it is 4 1 a.m my goal is to finish by 8 a.m which i think i can do because that's like four hours away and i'm like just under halfway through so i think if i just like power through for the next four hours i'll be able to get it done okay so i ended up changing my snack choices i went with these um i'm pretty sure my mom wanted to use these for like some kind of appetizer but we've had them in the cupboard for like weeks now and they haven't been used so i just go with cheese so i got the baby bell and then just two string cheeses so we're gonna have cheese and crackers you're welcome i drink your red bull what i did i'll get you one at the store you better okay bye 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 Okay, hi guys. So it is 1.22 p.m. the next day. Well, I guess the same day because technically 4 a.m. 
last night was still today anyways besides the point it is 1 22 p.m and as you can see and as you can hear i just woke up <laughs> i was reading until like i want to say like 6 a.m and then i just got so freaking tired and i couldn't keep my eyes open so i was like okay i'm just gonna take like a quick kitty nap um no that didn't happen so what i'm gonna do is i am going to change because i'm feeling like really really hot so i'm gonna change and kind of get into something a little more comfier for the day and then i'm gonna make my morning well i guess it's afternoon i'm gonna make my afternoon coffee grab something to eat and then we're just gonna crank out the last 100 pages and then start reading the deal so that is the plan it's 6 12 right now and i literally just finished the lost apothecary about like 12 minutes ago <sighs> this book oh my gosh it was beautiful starting out it was beautiful in the middle beautiful in the end 110 percent recommend it it is just so beautifully written it has a lot of historical aspects to it but also murder mystery aspects to it but also women empowerment aspects to it as well and it's just so freaking beautiful anyway that was the lost apothecary i loved reading it so much I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. Hi everybody, so it is some time later. I don't exactly remember the last time I like updated you guys, but it's 2.35 a.m. in the morning right now. I just got done watching the first like two episodes of Queen's Gambit because a lot of people have been raving about it and Aiden told me to watch it. So I finally watched it. I watched the first two episodes and I really, really like it. Um, and I was gonna continue watching it, but I haven't read the deal yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a break from watching Queen's Gambit read for a while and then i also have a red bull i think i'm gonna crack this bad boy open and start drinking it and read my book oh wow okay <laughs> Hi everybody, it is about 8 in the morning and I'm about 100 pages into the deal and oh my god for the past like i want to say four or five hours i've just been squealing like a little schoolgirl. the tension the building of the friendship oh oh my god i love this book so much so far and i have a very strong feeling it's gonna be a five star read for me <laughs> just by the feelings that i'm getting so far anyways um it's eight in the morning i haven't finished my first red bull it's still there i've just been chugging through my book for the past couple of hours hi everybody it is around 11 22 right now um i haven't done much reading since i woke up from my nap and ate dinner i've been watching tiktok a lot but um i think i'm gonna read um as much as this as i can until i like physically cannot stay awake anymore but yeah so um i hope this vlog was entertaining but i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below yeah, I'm gonna go finish this book as much as I can. I, guess. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Cause I got it like that. Always had my own bag, never needed no man to rely on. Got two good shoulders to cry on.